Hello friends. In this video, we will be discussing about how to write a C program using online editors. If you don't have any uh, C or C++ editor installed on our system, then how we can use online sites or online editors to write our code and to get executed over there. So first of all, we'll open our browser and in that we'll be writing online C editor or online C compiler. So you'll be getting so many things available with it. You can go with any link. I'll be clicking on this link and I'll be uh, redirecting to that particular link. And on that I can write the code and I can compile my C program. So if you don't have any C editor or C compiler available with you, then this is the best option we can opt for. So now you can see here, a format is already given to you, the header file is added, then the main function is declared and just hello world is already there. Now what we are doing, so first of all we compare this online editor with the previous program uh, in which we have written a simple C program using turbo editor. What is the difference? So since this online C editors are using GCC compilers, it's a different compiler. So in GCC compiler, there is no provision for conio.h. Again, I repeat, there is no provision for conio.h header file. So that what we can do, we cannot able to include that header file here and we cannot able to include the functions which are there declared in conio.h. Like in the previous program, in the previous video, you can see we have used CLR SCR that is clear screen. We also use get CH that is posing the screen to see the output. But since here conio.h is not available, we cannot able to include that header file in the link section and we cannot able to use the predefined functions which are available in conio.h. But it's fine, we can able to do program without that also. So first of all, what we are trying to do here, we'll be uh, writing a program to make sum of two numbers. Okay. So if we convert that statement into equation, so we can say that sum equals to number one plus number two. So this is a very simple equation. So again, what we need to do? We need to check out our equation. How many variables are there? Variables again, variables are the containers which can hold or which can contain or which can store values. The values which are given by user or values which are generated by computation of the equation. So in this equation, number one and number two, this two number that is to be entered by user. That user can able to enter the numbers of his or her choice. And then after, when we make sum of these two numbers, then the third number will be generated and that number is being stored in some variable, right? So in total, we can say that there will be three variables required. One is number one, one is number two, and one is sum. So we'll be declaring variables first. We don't want this printf. So what we'll be doing, we'll be declaring integer number one, number two and sum. Now here you can see we have used integer int that stands for integer. Integer means what? So integer means it's a, it stores complete numbers like 100. 2345 and this type of numbers can be stored correct so it stores a complete number so here we are assuming that user will enter complete numbers okay now if you want to get the values from user we will be prompting a message that please enter the values of number one and number two. 
whatever the string you need to write you can write this is just for sample now since user is prompted with this message that you are supposed to enter two numbers so user will enter two numbers so we need to receive it program needs to receive those two numbers and those two numbers must be saved inside the variables so for that we have seen in the previous video that is to scan the value or to get the value from user we will be writing scanf function now to get one integer value we will be writing percentage d why percentage d because number one is of integer type an integer type so that it is percentage d but since we are taking two numbers we will be writing percentage d two times okay and then we will be writing ampersand number one ampersand number two so meaning of this statement is that you have written percentage d two times it means that it will be taking two values from user and both these values should be of integer type integer type means both this value should be complete number now the first value which will be entered where it will be stored it will be stored at the address of number one so ampersand meaning is address so address of number one so the first value will be stored at the address of number one variable and the second value which will be taken will be stored at address of number two so two values will be entered one will be stored in number one and another will be stored in number two so now if it look at the equation in this equation we have the value of number one we have the value of number two so now we can we are ready to make the sum so now i'll be writing the equation sum equals to number one plus number two okay so after manipulating or after calculating the value of this two numbers or adding two numbers we'll be getting answer in which variable some variable so now we need to show this answer to the user so we'll be writing printf we'll be writing sum is percentage d why percentage d because we are printing the answer and that answer is stored in this sum variable and you can see sum variable the data type is what integer and for integer it is percentage d why we are not writing m percent here because we are supposed to print the value of sum we are not printing the address of sum okay so when we are working with address we need to write m percent but here we are printing the value of sum so we will not be writing any m percent here okay so this is fine and since we have written integer by default it is given integer main the meaning is main function will return some integer value it means it will return some complete number so that we have written here return 0 0 is a complete number okay so since we have written integer over here we need to write this statement return 0 so ultimately our program is done we have written the code now to run this code here you can see a button green button okay you can click on this or you can press f9 so i'll press run button here and i'm getting the error okay now i'm getting the error now check out what is the error here so you can see print so if your program is not compiled successfully then it is prompting an error so the error we can able to understand so that's why i have put this so you can write this because it is very important for a programmer to understand the error so that we can able to solve it so what is written undefined reference to print actually print is not a function function is what print f okay so that by reading this error we can get to know k i have made a mistake in the function name okay so for that what we'll be doing we'll be changing it another thing i want to show you that here you write see this particular part where is the error you can see that main dot c it's our program it you can see main dot c is our program 17 is the line number so now directly suppose you have written a big program so it is very difficult to check out or identify where is the error but you need to see this particular part so 17 17 means you can see 17 line 
so you can get to know there is a problem in this line and then what is the problem so that problem we can identify it by this statement undefined reference to print so now we can get to know that there is a there is an error in 17th line 17th line and we correct it so now i will correct it i will be writing printf again i run this my on my code and i will be expecting some output so my program compiled successfully so it is asking me to enter the value of number 1 and number 2 so i will be entering 123 as number 1 let me give some space 1 2 and another number i am giving is 100 so after giving these two number i will press enter so i can see the output sum is 223 so this is our very simple this is how we can able to write a c program using online editor so if you don't have any such editor installed on your machine then it is very easy way to execute your code only you need to uh, keep in mind that there is no support for conio.h so you cannot able to write conio.h and the functions available in conio.h okay so thank you for watching this video